here we have our second video on percent increase and decrease. Uh, this one is just a little bit different. The last one, if you watched it, it's asking you to find the percent increase or decrease, but in this case, they actually gave us that percent. So our first example, find the result when 30 is increased by 20%. So we're going to do some different math, but it's going to kind of make sense what we're doing. If 30 is being increased by 20%, we want to figure out, well, what is 20% of 30? So let's find the amount that it's being increased by first. So all you have to do is you take that 20% as a decimal and multiply it by 30. What is 20% of 30? Because that's how much it went up by. So do your 0.2 times your 30 and you get 6. So really, we have increased by 6. Well, what did we start out with? We started out with 30. And if we are increasing by 6, that means we're going to add 6 to it, and we get 36. So find the result when 30 is increased by 20%. First, we figured out what 20% was. We got 6, then we increased by that amount with addition. Not bad, right? All right, so next example. Find the result when 65 is decreased by 80%. So we know 65 is going down, and it's going down by 80%. So that's the first thing we figure out. What is 80%? So you take your percent as a decimal times 65. What is 80% of 65? It's going to be almost all of it. Um, so you just multiply that out, and you got 52. So that is the amount we have decreased by. So to find the result, you take your starting point, 65. If it's being decreased by 52, should we add 52 or subtract 52? That's right, we're going to subtract 52. So 65 minus 52, we get 13. <coughs> Excuse me. So find the result when 65 is decreased by 80 cent, 80 percent. Makes sense that it got a lot smaller because it decreased by quite a bit. We took 65 and we subtracted the 52. And that's how you do those problems.